sitting here in the, the green room area of the Avon Theater. Interesting person. Woo, I'm colorblind. This might not be green. I got it. That's all I got. It's actually not a green room, but that's what they call it, a green room. Maybe we'll have history lesson on that later. I think they used to all be green. Yes. It's, it's a, and I know why. Why? I actually have no idea. Liar. Steven Patterson is one of my favorite people <laughs> in the world, and now I'm interviewing him, which is awesome. Um, Steven and I did falsettos together last year. Mm -hmm. He was fantastic. Now he's in Man of La Mancha and Crazy for You. Okay. When you were a little boy, mm -hmm. did you think this is what you were going to do with your life? No. What did you think you were going to do? I was going to be a trumpet player. A trumpet player? I was a musician. So yeah. how did you get into theater? And when did that happen? High school. And then I had a theater. Uh, I, my actual, <laughs> my band teacher said, you should go into theater. And I did. I know. And what was your first, like, did you do a show in high school? Fiddler on the Roof. Oh. Yeah, I was, um, I think I had uh, Alms for the Poor. That was my Alms <laughs> for the Poor. That, I, was, I was a bit of a star back then. <laughs> did you get a laugh on that? Because you seem to get a laugh uh, on everything. Maybe. I might have made it my own just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do, um, for the first time, we're going to do a lightning round. I've never done a lightning round. And Steve Barnes is just to answer. You just have to answer. First okay. thought. Okay, ready? <clears throat> Coffee or tea? Tea, uh, coffee. Salty or sweet? Sweet. Dog or cat? Dog. Wine or beer? Beer. Kate Winslet, Kate Blanchett, or Kate Moss? Mm, Kate Moss. Ryan Gosling or Ryan Reynolds? Reynolds. What's your favorite TV series? Uh, right now, I'm watching Ray Donovan. Oh, I don't even know what that I is. I know, it's awesome. It's uh, that, What's that guy's name? Lib? Lieb? Lieb Shriver? Lieb, yeah, Lieb Shriver. He's awesome. It's awesome. He plays the... Um, Sabretooth, or he plays the uh, Wolverines. Oh, yeah, yeah, that guy. Uh, Marvel or DC? Uh, I'm going to say Marvel. I kind of recently, I'm just getting into it, I think because of the kids. I wasn't a big superhero guy. So you didn't read comic books when you were growing up? Mm, well, I did. I had the Archies. So what are they, DC? <laughs> <laughs> Betty or Veronica? Ooh, you know, I was a Betty guy. <laughs> okay, this one is a very important question to me. Okay. Vampire or werewolf? I would say... Uh, really? Uh, I guess... Uh, werewolf? Question I don't know. mark? I know. I'm not either. Oh. I'm not really into the vampire or werewolf thing. I think our relationship just... Really? ...changed. Steven Patterson is one of my favorite people. <laughs> What do you hope to pass on to your boys? He has two sons. What, do you, what is something that you really hope that you're instilling in them? Uh, compassion for others, even your enemies. And how do you do that? How do you... I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, do you think you became a better actor once you had children? Definitely. I mean... Even, I mean, something as specific as, I remember doing Miss Saigon, and I didn't have any kids, and then we did Miss Saigon probably two or three years later, and just being able to connect with that, and those emotions, and that, there's so much that comes with having a family, for me, that I didn't experience before I had kids. Yeah, so it's just a deeper understanding of love, and, and uh, patience, and all of those things that you need in life, I think, are suddenly the pit is larger right. with children. Right. And you start to understand them more, whether, whether you know, trying to access them and all that would be, I guess, the key to, to be able to recognize them. Guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasure. Um, Let's sit like this for a bit and think about it. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I, guilty pleasure I guess uh, 
I don't know. I guess uh, you know, watching TV just with and it sounds ridiculous, but when the kids are asleep and just letting, not going and trying to accomplish something in the day, right? Just letting, letting yourself, the mind go yes. and go click, 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 or trying to get away to the cabin and just go. Don't work. Just enjoy. How many movies or how many times have we uh, heard someone that is 99 years old and they're on their deathbed and they go, what are the five things that you wish you would have done, which was not work as hard as you did, right. spend more time with your family, yep. and you know, we can all probably list those now. And so I'm trying to be aware of that as a 40-year-old instead of an 80-year-old. I'm going, wait a minute, I don't have to, if I don't bust my ass to put that video, that audition on video because I might, there might be a chance I might get it. And then instead, I spend some time with my family. That's okay. There's going to be other chances to put myself on video again. Totally. You know what I mean? What movie could you watch over and over and over again? The Jerk. Why? With Steve Martin. Because he's brilliant, hilarious. And I remember watching that as a kid. And it's just perfect. He is so funny. And so brilliant. Is he one of your comedy heroes? No, definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. (laughs) Should I be looking at the camera or no? Uh, You can look up there to talk to people. You can look at yourself if you want. No, no. I just didn't know. I'm going to leave this in, like the instructions (laughs) on how to do a good interview.